Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the front panel clip on your dryer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So you either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Now with the power disconnected, our next step will be to remove the lint screen. You simply slide that in, set it aside. Next, we're going to remove two screws that are located near that opening. And we wanna make sure that we don't drop those down inside. Now next, we'll take a thin putty knife. We're gonna go in this gap between the front panel and the main top. About three inches in from either side, there'll be a spring clip. So if we push in on that putty knife, we can release that clip. You can also pull forward on the main top and disengage that as well. Now with the main top disengaged from those spring clips, we'll need somebody to support that top. You just tilt that up to an upright position or take some type of a lanyard and attach to the main top to hold it to the cabinet. Now with the main top support, we're next going to remove two 5 16 screws near the top and the back side of that front panel. Now before we remove that front panel, we'll just support that drum. Tilt it slightly forward and then we'll lift up sharply on each side of the front panel to disengage it from the clips. And then we can pivot that aside. If need be, you can remove another one of those harness retaining straps. Now to remove the old clip it may be rusted onto that cabinet, so you need to give it a sharp tap upwards. Now if the old front panel retaining clip is stuck to your cabinet, just take a pair of needle nose pliers and a flat blade screwdriver. Tuck your flat blade screwdriver down in through the top so you can get enough exposed that you can grab it with your pliers. Pull upward on it and discard it. Then line up the two clips with the rectangular openings. And then just tap it down into place. Now we can reposition our front panel. And we're gonna line up the rectangular openings in the bottom of that front panel over top of the hooks on those clips. At the same time, you'll need to push back on the inner drum so the front panel fits into that opening. And once that's lined up, we'll secure it with the two retaining screws. Again, we'll put these through from the back side. Now, if you've disconnected the wire harness door switch connector, you'll need to reattach that. If you simply remove the retaining clips for that harness, you need to reinstall those into the openings in the cabinet. Make sure that harness is safely rooted away from the drum. We can then tilt the main top back down into position. Just pull it slightly forward and then push down in each front corner. Push it back until it's flush. And then we'll reinstall the two screws in the lint screen opening. Again, take care that we don't drop those down into that opening. We'll reinstall the lint filter. Now we're ready to reconnect the dryer. 
We're now ready to push the dryer back into position, reconnect the vent if we've disconnected it, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.